Chris, everything's probably pretty new, but uh, not new for you in terms of camp and maybe even new D partners. But what's it? Uh, what have you noticed about a guy like uh, McKenzie? Brady? Yeah, uh, Weegs uh, skates very well, moves the puck well. Um, obviously, he had a great year last year um, on a good team, and uh, I think he's going to bring a lot to to our D group. Still, lots of time to go, but if it is uh, that pairing, I mean, that looks like a pretty good shutdown pairing. Would you look at it that way? Yeah, I mean, I think if, if we play together, uh, we'll we'll complement each other. It's still early in camp, so I mean, you, you you get to know people and get to know what they, how they play and, and where they are uh, in certain situations. But um, yeah, that comes with just just getting out there together and, and playing together. How does it feel for you being back? And given what your summer looked like and probably felt like, how does it feel out there now? Feels good. It's yeah. uh, it's great to be back. I think it's important to to be in in camp and, and participating. I think guys who, if you miss camp, it, it, it's sort of, you're always behind the eight ball and it's uh, it's tough to catch up. Usually takes a bit longer than, than you think. Do you feel you can kind of open it up or are you still kind of going through some cautious motions as well? Yeah, no, we'll uh, we'll open it up as, uh, as I'm allowed to. Um, yeah, I, the, obviously game one's the plan, but um, we still have three weeks till till we till camp's over, basically. So we'll we'll go through the progressions that that we're told we have to do, and uh, as we can open it up, we definitely will. For you personally, how tough was the end of last season going through the injury in the middle of a playoff battle? Yeah, sucks. Um, <laughs> sucks watching. Sucks watching when you're losing, especially. Um, you want to be out there and and contribute and help as much as you can. Um, yeah, I think the, the three games I didn't play, four ones against Dallas too. I mean, three against Edmonton was, it's not great, um, but you you move on. We we have to get better uh, as a group this year, and it, it starts right now. When you look one through six or even one through seven or eight with this defense core, what excites you about the group that you've got assembled today? Yeah, deep, deep group. Uh, a lot of guys back from last year, so we have... We all like each other. We're we're all good friends off the ice. It goes goes a long way. Um, and then just getting to know the new guys that that are here and uh, sort of integrating them in. And obviously they're going to try different partners out and to see see what works. And, and we'll see move on from there. The week said that you've been a big part of making him feel welcome in Calgary. What kind of things have you done both here and away from the ring to you know, help oh, him get it's, it's, I mean, it's easy to go out for dinner or, or go for lunch and just to get to know guys. I mean, I, when I first came here, uh, guys did that to me. So, I mean, it's it's hard going to a new team, um, especially from Florida to Calgary. It's going to be a, a big transition. Uh, a lot of a lot of things are going to be different. So, as a group, we're just trying to welcome the new guys as much as we can and, and make them feel comfortable because, I mean, if you're not comfortable, it's hard to go out go out on the ice and, and perform at your best. Previously, you wouldn't see him very often, you just see him maybe like twice, whatever. Yeah. Are there any tendencies in his game that you've noticed through just the two ice times? Yeah, well, moves very well, obviously. Um, passes the puck well. Um, I think that's one of his biggest strengths is just being able to break the puck out and, and get the puck up the ice to to our, our skilled forwards. So I mean that's that's what I think we'll we'll be able to do well, and um, we'll work on that through throughout camp. You said you got him beat in fantasy football. I beat him, uh, yeah, week one. I killed him actually, but um, <laughs> I lost last week, so get get off my high horse. <laughs> <laughs> who are the guys in the locker room who are really into football, fantasy football? Like, are there any one or two guys that always just bring it up? Uh, we're always uh, we're always talking, but we got a lot of football fans in here. But um, Z, Colsey, uh, Louie, a lot of a lot of the American guys. But um, I'm a, I'm a big football fan, so it's, it's fun watching Thursdays, Sundays, Mondays. Who's your team? Buffalo, Toronto, bo- Toronto boy. So a lot of years of suffering, but uh, now we're, <laughs> now we're doing well. Is there a clause in your contract saying that you cannot go through any tables? I definitely not going through any tables. I'm too I'm too old for that. I guess you you've played on a lot of different teams and you know, I think one of the one of the challenges that a lot of teams face is that, you know, they have sort of set pairings, set groups and you sort of know what you're gonna get when you play those teams. I guess as much as, you know, you never wanna have injuries, the fact that, you know, you guys have been able to sort of swap different bodies in and out to different pairings, different lines, you think that makes you a more dangerous team heading into the season? Yeah. For sure. I mean, uh, things are going to happen throughout the year. Guys are going to get hurt. Guys are not going to be able to play, and 
guys have to step up. Um, guys have to play maybe in a position where they're not comfortable. Um, all that, that stuff plays into 82 games and and the goals to make the playoffs every year. So, I mean, we, we made it last year. Goals to continue to make the playoffs and, and become a better team.